Good afternoon, Laceship, and I'm John. This is Bidia Truder. Welcome back to the Outer Worlds with Perilon Gorgon. Where, yes, indeed, we've got ourselves a bit of the Old World Blues going on. We're stuck inside a big science dome, but there's plenty more going on here, too. For example, yeah, Olivia, the chief scientist, is uh, missing, presumed dead. Now, normally I'd assume the mysterious voice that said, you know, I'm guarding this place, don't come and investigate, was her. But rather cleverly and kind of funnily, actually, yes, the game's introduced three different characters who are all missing, presumed dead. So... It could also be Montoya. It could be uh, whatever her face, the person in the um, in the bar, her husband. I mean, they're all missing, presumed dead, but not definitely dead. So we can't be sure it's Olivia. And on top of that, we've heard, yes, a quarterly financial report has gone missing at just the same time as some journalists were visiting. So uh, there might be more going on here than we think. So, okay, we need to crack our way into, you know, the other buildings around the dome. But before we do that, don't forget, journalist. The journalist we ran into in the bar specifically said he wanted some, you know, audio logs back. But I'm increasingly suspicious of uh, said journalist. So uh, let's go and have a bit of a look-see, see what we can uh, find. Because uh, one of those photographs is right here in this building. Here we go. In fact, I walked straight past it in the last episode. Sorry about that. About your test subjects, I assume you're trying new formulations on humans, correct? <sighs> Where did they come from, Dr. Ambrose? <clears throat> they come from Tartarus, don't they? They do. Why the reluctance? Providing life-affirming employment to the indigent the criminal, the criminally indigent. Well, that's a social good, don't you agree? I have a staff meeting to attend. Excuse me. Okay. So, as we would have expected, uh, human experimentation, specifically now we know are prisoners. But, well, you could read that two ways. Either Olivia wasn't comfortable with it herself, possibly she was trying to get this place shut down... The mysterious voice was saying, just let them die in peace. Stop interrupting them, whatever. So uh, that could be Olivia wanting these poor people just to be able to rest in peace. Or, of course, she didn't want to answer questions that, you know, incriminated her. So, uh, hard to say. Okay, stepping back outside here, and yeah, before we move on, don't forget, there was another tape close by to the OCI. So there's four tapes, and one of them was, aha, up here in the buildings by the upper entrance. Let's just go grab that quickly. Here we go, passed by this area before where there was just a couple of those new uh, sparkler dogs. So, it's okay, that's just a sprat. Sprats are friends, no need to murder. Lot of Adrena time dotted about those. So yeah, they were, they were definitely circulating this heavily among their own employees. Possibly as a test if they knew how bad it was, uh, maybe an accident. Oh no, here's interesting. A note not related to the journalist, but Charles Novak still possesses the express mail delivery prototype. He's gone mad, has abandoned his apartment, taken up with marauders not far from here, no longer recognises me, can't even recognise the Spacer's Choice jingle. What a monster. But the prototype is intact and simultaneously fires multiple projectiles. Okay. I don't know what this is, but I am up for it. Here we go. We found what might have been the apartment the journalists were staying in because uh, everything seems uh, relatively less trashed, suggesting not a permanent worker, just a visitor. Hey, Dr. Ambrose, tell me about Adrena time. What does it do? Hasn't Clarence already dumped a pile of promotional materials on your head? Where's the fun in that? My listeners want to hear it in your own words. It's an injectable drug that improves a patient's speed, awareness, mental acuity, and endurance. In moderation, Adrena Time will uplift the laboring classes by strengthening their minds and work ethic. That's quite the mission. What's driving this vision of uplift? I am a solutions-oriented woman. I see a problem, and I am moved to solve it. Poverty is one such problem. Through science, I believe we can improve the poor. 
and in so doing, improve Halcyon. Okay. Question is whether we believe she really believed that or not. Okay, my next destination proper is, yes, this building up here, close by to the apartments we've already been to. So, uh, we can get back there anytime we want to. Let's just check these buildings around the back first. Because, yeah, there's an elevator around here that might lead me into, well, uh, this could be where Charles is, or possibly he's up here. Yeah, we're now looking for Charles and some form of, uh, super weapon, which is pretty exciting. Alright, this should bring me to... Uh, yeah, right outside a camp, presumably their camp, but there's also a bunch over here. Honestly, I kind of don't want those guys behind me, so just to be safe, how about we just take you guys out uh, regardless, actually. So there's one dead person. Can we have a few more dead people? Yes, I wouldn't mind a few more dead people, actually, and you're going to be showing up in a moment. We'll just take you out too. And everyone can go down before they even know what's happening. Beautiful. Just want them dead in case I need to retreat back this way from the camp. Because, uh, yeah, never want to have to retreat into an area that's still occupied. And yes, appropriately, all the berserkers have Adrena time. So, uh, these are the employees. These are 100% the old employees. Now, this also leads me up here. There's a tiny section up top. Llama Rock. And, I mean, I guess it looks a tiny bit like a llama. I'd have gone for a horse or a camel, to be honest, especially with the hump right there. Still, there's a package for Captain Babbage. Okay, Captain Babbage and crew, a friend, handle with care. Alright, not sure who that's for, but we'll have to see. Okay, I've just been through the rest of this area. Nothing there in terms of, like, lore. It's just a bunch of marauders. So, yeah, you can use the elevator to basically just uh, skip that entire fight if you want to. But this is going to be, uh, yeah, Charles. We need to take out a Charles. And uh, sneaking in's got to be the better option, right? All right, here we go and make it to uh, the grass. Yep. Marauder Stronghold, plus 9,000 XP just for finding the darn thing. So the question is, who's here and how strong are they? Because I see you, but I don't see much else. Possibly, Charles doesn't show himself until, you know, you've made a bit of noise just to make sure you can't uh, just get on top of him with a nice sniper shot, and that's it. Nice and simple. So, sneak past that. This could be a good spot for a bit of sniping. Right here. If I can get a shot from here, they're not going to be able to see me. Not a flipping chance are they going to be able to see where I am in here. Though I need to be able to... Aha. Alright. How about one nice shot to you. And now we just turn that... No, guys. Guys, don't. Don't just charge in. Don't just... Okay, maybe charge in like a little bit. Oh, never mind. Don't bother. Is that explodable, by the way? Okay, that was explodable. Good. So how about we now just shoot you in the face a couple of times. Okay, some people now know we're coming. So wait and use special abilities. Oh, you're going to be Charles, aren't you? Is that... That's Charles from account. Take him out. Hit him with all of the special abilities. So there we go. And now we just focus on... That's Felix. It's Charles from account down on the ground right now. Right, quick bit of healing. And in a moment... Yes, he was down on the ground. Meaning we can just knock him the flip down. Charles from account goes down. Boom. Leaving nothing but... Colossus, but honestly, that's fine. We'll just try and knock out his legs. He seems to be... Honestly, you picked a bad place to try and snipe, my friend. And now I'm being hit by a bit of the old... Uh, yeah, damage over time end race. But honestly, the damage over time is insignificant. So, uh, has anyone got eyes on that person? Because I don't. So, alright. You know what? I feel like the sniping's gone perfectly well. Let's go in and finish him off. Lardy flipping da. Love the little jaunt. You get on the, uh, on the wave. Oh, never mind. Felix is... Well, Felix is dead. That's unfortunate. And... What? Does... 
Does anyone know whether... Oh, hang on. I think you two took each other out. Well done. Okay, so, Charles from Accounts has a defaced Moonman helmet, which is uh, Intimidate plus 10, Lie plus 5. That's... that's pretty good. Uh, I'll be taking that, thank you. Though he's... he's still wearing it, but whatever. Okay, so if I need Intimidate or Lie, that's very useful, though. To be honest, hang on. Is that ever going to be worth it for me? Yes, theoretically it could be, because with Reed's hat I get all my speech skills up by 7, but if I just specifically needed Intimidate, then yeah, that would get me an extra 3 to that. Still, I've got good news for a given value of good, which is uh, we can scratch one person off the dead but no corpse list, which is uh, I've found Montoya. He's at the back of this camp over here at the far right of the map, so... Uh, okay, got ourselves, yes, yeah, some meat, some cartridges, and... Uh, one final audio log. I've stumbled onto something big. Bigger than Minnie Ambrose's journal. Spacer's choice wasn't making Adrenotype for humans. They were making it for canids. The ads were all smoke and mirrors. There's no way they'd make something this dangerous for people. But why? To build an army? Like in the Archie Excelsior comics? To make them smart so they can do most of our jobs? To make them smart? And give them thumbs so they can do all of our jobs? Only one way to find out. Ah, bad call as it turns out, given he ended up getting uh, a bit eaten or whatnot. So, okay, wasn't originally for for people. That's of interest. And also, where's this... Where's the mail gun I was after? Because there's a safe here, but this is not a gigantic mail gun. Well, whatever this thing is... There's no big chest here aside from that one safe. He doesn't have it on his body, so... Okay, I'll have to come back to that one. Bit of a mystery. Let's get back to the journalist, because I'm increasingly suspicious that there might be something going on with, uh, with him. So, okay. Looks to me like if I go back to the lower entrance to the OCI, and then carry on here, there's, uh, there's something here, then I think that's just the big... Uh, what's a gibbet? Uh, the thing that makes the atmosphere or the dome, whatever. So go through here, take a left, that should get me up to, uh, yes, this building, whichever this one is. Here we go, that branch leads back to the bar, this branch leads in uh, the right direction. So, uh, just be ready for some trouble and see what we're, what we're walking into here. Because for some reason this is marked as, ah, does that mean cave? That colour scheme might mean cave. Yep, abandoned mines. So, uh, I'm guessing they ain't so abandoned. Anyone else feel like the walls are almost leaning in? This is like that scene from Terror on Monarch, where Spencer Woolrich gets buried alive. Alright, it's Frostosaurus. Alright, well on the plus side, uh, you're just a basic soldier. So how about we just take you out immediately, and then... Please don't run into my way when I'm trying to take you guys out, alright? Do not get in the way while I'm doing this. And Felix is just going straight in. Okay, if they're charging us, that means we want to be going over to Chargy Gun. So go Chargy Gun! Completely overshot, but what can you do, eh? Right, and I feel like all my friends are dead or close to it. Boom! Just hopefully the splash damage is... Yep, splash damage is fine. Just kick him to death. That was... That was one of the babies. You just drop kicked a baby. All right, now hammer the baby. Keep going. Sooner or later. There we go. Job done. Well done, everybody. All right, Frostosaurus. Nothing too dramatic. We've seen this like before. Just, you know, slightly more on the, um... You're dead, right? A shiver pillar. Oh, that's adorable. Now I feel more bad about killing you. Yeah, maybe stick with the, um, uh, the big gun against Frostosaurus. The sniper rifle's not quite got the penetrating power. So we don't need to go left, so let's go right first. So we got, you know, deeper in the mines. Because, yeah, right now I'm rapidly heading towards the, um, uh, the edge of the map. So, uh, okay. How about, yes, about this. So, boom! And that should do. Okay, need to work on my aim a bit. Need to keep working on my aim a bit. Sooner or later, they'll... Okay, so all of that did nothing. That's that's all fine. That should do something, mind. Then just in your face. Yeah, two should do the job. 
boom for you and then shiver pillars i'm not too worried about though i've been frozen i think so just charge that this is this is overkill fyi but at least we get to enjoy him exploding in a second and yeah i feel like he's dead this here this is what the big gun's for damn it now what's what's the point of all of this what are you guys guarding Nothing at the end, and there's a tiny side room over here, where something's going wibbly-woop. I'm quite frankly suspicious of the fact that there's nothing here. What are you guys guarding, and what's the deal with these tracks that are running everywhere? Can we use them in some way? Alright, deeper in, and you already look a bit on the, um, the dead side, which is... I'm definitely going forward, right? Yes, I shouldn't have been here before. So in which case... What killed a Frostosaur? I hear something big scuttling over yonder. Ooh, something big. Bigger than a Frostosaur, apparently. Loving it. So, okay. The soldiers are dead. Now, logically, it wouldn't be like the Frostosaur Queen or legendary Frostosaur or whatever, because that doesn't make any... Uh, that doesn't make any sense. This might explain, though. I figured the mines were going to be trouble. Didn't think they'd be crawling with mance. Must have gotten out of HIA a while ago. They've been busy here. Something about the tunnels here gets under your skin and into the worst parts of your head. It makes you feel... not yourself. In case I don't make it out of here. Marauders. Must have followed me from OCI. Time to make tracks while the mats are busy. I'm shedding some extra weight. It's yours if you find it. Whoever you are, you need it more than I do now. Okay. We heard right at the beginning, sometimes people would go out, you know, to scavenge, and when they came back, they wouldn't be themselves anymore. They'd be seeing ghosts. Now, I thought that was just the Adrena time, but... Possibly... It's some form of, you know, a combination. This area, together with the Adrena Times, some form of uh, synthesis. Now, what is going on? Okay, the Mega Ice Queen. Well, in which case, what, what did kill her children? Possibly, like, we're supposed to assume it was the Marauders or something. Right. Okay, this is, this is going to be interesting. Now, there are other little ones. Now, I should probably take them out first. So how about we just take you... take you down. Okay, now don't... No, don't go in! Don't! I wouldn't go... Okay, never mind. This is... This has gone a bit on the... Uh, bit on the wrong side. Right! Shotgun! 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 Ow! Shotgun to the face! Stagger him! Stagger him! Stagger him! And... Ow! Never mind! I'm dying fast! And also I'm... Uh, I'm in slow-mo right now! No! No! The queen is now following. Okay, this is... Okay, my mistake was starting the fight by attacking a shiver pillar. That was definitely not the right call. Best thing we can do is probably, yeah, do something to the queen. Like, say, blind the queen. And then take everything we've got on the queen right there. Alright, and now go over to the ludicrous gun. Okay, ludicrous gun. Boom! And now keep them busy by, like, drop kicking them. That's going to cause a bit of damage over time. And then we're just going to, yeah, just distract them as best we can. Knock them down so I can use the big gun to, like, basically take out the rest of them. Now, that is going to do a huge amount of damage. Yes. But it is going to take out all of her friends. Now, I'm taking, I'm taking slow damage. That's the problem. I've now been massively slowed down. Uh, Felix is okay for the moment, but not for too much longer. Okay. Now what we can do is we can get some easy one. I could try and shrink her. I mean, that's ridiculous, but it might work. The bare minimum. Yes, here we go. Now we just need to maim, maim, and then do some more maiming. And then get out of the way before anything else happens. Though I'm... Yes, I'm right now... Oh, I think I'm scared of Mantasaurs. Is that what I am? Yes, I swear I've got that. That's a thing I decided to, uh, to take. I'm going to regret that now. FYI. But on the plus side, I don't think she can make it round the corner. Oh, never mind. She can make it round the corner. Shrink her. Shrink her. Shrink her. Okay, now she's shrunk. And now, 
Never mind, she's not shrunk anymore. Go, go, go. Shrink her. Shrink her some more. Just shrink her some more on top of that. Yes, that will do. And now loads of... Oh, loads of damage. Loads of flipping damage. And now go over to... Just keep her shrunk. This is... This is working surprisingly well. She can't do anything anymore. No, now she can. Now she's big. Make her small. Make her small. Make her small. And then more healing. More healing. More healing. And then go over to... Uh, okay, sh Ow! That almost worked, you know. John, you weren't being frozen. You were over-encumbered, you daft bastard. Okay, now, now I'm not. And I'm going to give myself a bit of an edge going forward. So how about we just do some nice hit to you, actually. Okay, now, now I'm allowed to sprint more effectively. So before you die, just drop kick you. And then take out the other one, please. Uh, and I'm forcing my companions forward right now, which is arguably not good. And charge up that. Boom. And then that should stagger you really nicely. And that should do some good work to you. Then you're going to die. And then all your friends are going to die too. And then you're all going to die on top of that. Everything is lovely. And then you're already almost dead. That's doing some good work right there. And then we just heal and retreat. Okay, there's no need to do this all in one go, so that's all absolutely fine, especially as we might be able to... You're not aware of me anymore. Okay, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Excuse me, my friend. You need to... You need to just die, actually. So how about we just take you out for a while? So that's all A-OK. -okay. Right, everybody, get your abilities in. Drop kick. There's just a swarm of them over there. Okay, uh, yes, try and hit the queen. Really appreciate that. Everyone's now back up. Uh, so blind, maim, do some more maiming if at all possible. Is the queen down? I think the queen's down. Uh, right, so now we just fall back. All her friends have reached No, the queen is not down. She was nearly down. And now we've blinded her. So now we just need to... Right, just get a bit more stuff going. Now I've been frozen. Now that has happened. Yes. Uh, can we hit her with anything else, by the way? No, you don't. Come back here, your majesty. Oh, the shiver pillars are trying to provide cover. Uh-oh. Uh, we've also got problems in the form of these things. Shotguns work well against you. You can just die, actually. Right, and then we got... Oh, we got trouble. Right. No. And then... Still no. 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 And you're taking a bit of damage over time. That should do something to you. Screw you. Right. Queen. Queen's over there. Uh, this isn't the right place. Ow! This isn't the right thing anymore. Right. Uh, heal. Heal, 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 and then, no, you don't, and then, critical, everything, I need more, I need more now, I need to not be reloading right now, come on, flip me, just one more, one more heal, one more heal, bit of N-ray damage, bit of N-ray damage, and down, she, I'm being attacked by something else, she's down, but something else is attacking me, oh, it's just one of the bloody swarms. We'll just put some N-ray damage on them. That'll finish you off. Screw you. Stay the flip back. Right, you can just die, actually. Seriously. That's the knockdown. And I don't know how you knocked down a swarm, but we did. That doesn't make a huge amount of sense. And come on. Just... It's okay, little sprats. We won. So I'll take carapace, plasma gland, rings, things, things, more things, even more flipping things. Anything actually, like, you know, good. Uh, more adrenaline time, obviously. Plasma launcher, only level 30, that's not so great. Okay, we're in good shape then. Now, what were you guarding? A mining accident. Okay, fair enough. Spacer's choice, covered up an accident. Not really, you know, too surprising or anything. The question is, uh, what was the nature of uh, the accident precisely? Oh, hello, coolant distributor. Okay, what have we just got? Okay, level 31, DPS of 547, causes a chilling. Okay, this is, uh, this is of interest. Alright, how does this thing work? So is it like a... Can we charge it? No, it just fires 10, whatever it fires, energy or heavy, I think. And then causes a chilling effect. So, yeah, against long-range enemies who you want to make sure they can't get up to, that's... That's potentially rather useful. I'll keep that in my regular four just for the moment. And deeper, and I was expecting to find a way through, but no, I've discovered uh, Virgil's research base. All right, what's a Virgil, and uh, what was he researching? And was Montoya maybe interested? This has got to be one of those research sites we're looking for. 
It's sort of lonesome, isn't it? When you say we're looking for Parvati... Oh, is this something to do with that, um, the clubhouse we found where the four guys wanted me to gather some knowledge to get in? Yeah, there we go. Marvelous Moustache of Excelsior. So this is related to that. But... Ah, hang on. Birdie. I swear we went into Birdie's apartment previously. That was the one with the doormat, right? Now, yeah, the spin rate of Gorgon. The anomaly I've been observing is only present in the sky three hours out of every 24. So, okay. Not sure what that refers to just yet. Except officially, I haven't found the clue yet. So, okay, hang on, what is... What is the clue in that case? It's... Oh, sorry, it's this thing right here. So the exhilarating adventures of Archibald Excelsior. So the word friend has been scribbled on the spine. Okay, interesting. Other than that, it's... Yes, just uh, a comic book, a really classic adventure serial type thing. Okay, I don't see a way to get through here. So in that case, there is what looks like, yeah, a bridge right here, close by to the Gorgon Ruin. So uh, I'm going to head back over to there. This is the area we passed through previously. So uh, I might be able to get over the bridge. Here we go. So yeah, the apartments and the garage where possibly this is Jerome right here after he went a bit crazy. While I'm passing by, though, yes, weapon condition's getting a bit on the low side. Oh, yeah, I should have repaired this a long time ago. Oops. Right, now that should be hitting with a bit more oomph. So, go down over here into the town. Take a right, and yeah, there should be a bridge in this part of the world. Oh, together with a couple of berserkers I just walked into. And I've also just exploded one of their heads to kill the other. So that's always nice when that happens. Hi! Yes, I'm here as well. Okay, good. Yes, my sniper rifle is definitely uh, definitely better now. Let that get a little bit low there. All right, as I was hoping for, we got ourselves a bridge. And uh, away past the, uh, the force field. Good, 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 good. Whatever happened here must have been real bad. Spacer's choice just up and abandoned it. Okay, Parvati, did you miss the bit where Spacer's Choice is constantly abandoning things if there's, like, the slightest bit of money to be made out of abandoning it versus not? All right, so we got ourselves a building here, but the terminal clue might actually be uh, not here at all. It might be around the back. Some caves. Not sure if there's going to be, like, a back door here, but this feels uh, a very long way from, you know... The actual front door. So, okay. Keep your eyes open. What are we going into here? Possibly another mine? I'm not seeing trouble. I think we're okay for now. And I also just dramatically leveled up from finding Birdie's place. Did you leave your comic book? Yes, indeed. We just need another comic book. So, what do we need here? So, we've got the word friend... And the word and. Okay, so Obsidian's still doing the same thing that they were doing back with the Enclave in New Vegas. Where they insist on four person passwords where each person has one word. But they form a coherent sentence. So if you've got three, you could 100% intuit the other. Like, if you're the person who gets and, that's just ridiculous. Because that's one of the first words you try. It's an incredibly common connective. And another note pertaining to this project, but yeah, they're engineering something, possibly a satellite. They seem to be tracking something out in space, but it's a bit on the vague side. Okay, I feel a bit slow. I've only just noticed this, but yes, the reason things now go up to 150 is because uh, things can go up to 150. It used to be capped to 100. Uh, they've increased the cap to 150, which is... A little frustrating for a character that goes in at level 29, because uh, I physically can't reach 150, because it needs to be a natural 150, not an adjusted 150. So, I mean, I like that, because that means you can really super specialise. It's a bit reminiscent of uh, Fallout 1 and 2. But yeah, it's 150. There's uh, all sorts of uh, interesting things here. I mean, that one's kind of uh, not so interesting. But the sneak 150, sneak attacks that kill... Don't alert other enemies. Now that, that's pretty badass. 150 medicine is really damn good too. So plus 20% damage per consumable shot. So you're going to have four slots by default by that point. So that's plus 80% damage. That's pretty amazing. 
Heavy Weapon 150 just turns all of them into infinite guns, because they can just reload for free, which is pretty good. Handguns is just hilarious. 150 means, yes, critical hits just ricochet and hit another enemy for free, which is nonsense, but I love it. You know what? I'm liking heavy weapons. I'm just going to shove everything into that. And uh, yeah, we can get that up to 60 for faster reloads pretty soon. We've also got a fast travel location here, but this is sealed for the time being. Right, we got ourselves a Skyrim door out the back of this building. Next question, can we even get inside? Oh, hang on. Sorry. Sorry about that for just a second. Right, we're just going to take you out. Lovely. That's a full strength sniper rifle right there. Then we're just going to take you out. Then we're just going to take you out. Yeah, okay. Yeah, my sniper rifle definitely needed, uh, definitely needed repairing. By the way, just kick that guy in the face. That'll do beautifully. Thank you. Okay, the auditing department. Because, yes, in this universe, auditors are scary. Can we get in yet, though? No. We're going to be needing a pass key. All right. Doing this in the wrong order, unfortunately. It's not quite as open as Old World Blues. Because what you want me to do right now is, yes, go to the central area, visit a comms tower to get this lockdown removed. So, okay, that seems like a good start point because we need to figure out, yeah, who's actually got the pass keys and whatnot. So, literally just up the road from the area I just cleared, uh, here we go. Big comm tower. Looks, I mean, pretty small internally. So this can't exactly be, you know, a mega dungeon. In fact... Okay, I just walked past this earlier. I could have just nipped in and got what I needed. So, okay, let's get some information here. Here we go. We've got somebody. So, all right. Clarence Mosley, who is, interestingly, not actually on this planet. Okay, we're not actually sticking around. We're going to a flipping art gallery on Byzantium. la di da Though while I'm on my way out, I might just, you know... Check in whether that journalist is willing to speak to me. Now I know a bit more about, yeah, journalists and his tapes. Also, I completely forgot to speak to you two. Freddy and Trixie. Sorry, um, you've got names, so I'm guessing you want me to do something. That was my salvage, Trixie. You had no right to it then, and you've no right to it now. And okay, what's going on here? Actually, you know what? Don't interrupt. Let's just hear what they've got to say. I risked my life sneaking around Marauders to claim that wreck. And I didn't see your name on it. Now you've done it. Eat fist! All right, that's enough! This is a family establishment! You want to make a mess? You make it outside! But this was personal, Lex. It's a question of salvage. That wreck was gonna make me a fortune! And, okay, what's... what's going on? And, uh, yes, that does sound like business, absolutely. That's what I've been trying to tell him, but he won't listen. Oh, it's the same fight every day. Five years we've been at this, and we still can't agree on how to properly tag salvage. Now you two listen, this is my place. While you're in the Sprat Shack, you'll sit quietly, or I'll forbid you to come here at all. Is that understood? Fair's fair. I'll have a stout, and we'll settle this later on our own terms. Ah, oh, it's no good to leave a fight unresolved. If I don't do something, these two are going to be at each other's throats. Okay, any chance I could, you know, get involved? You'd do that for me? Honestly, I'd do it more for the reward, but sure, I'll say I'm going to do it for you, absolutely. I appreciate it all the same. You'll be paid for your time and expertise, of course. Freddy, Trixie, go on and make your case to the generous stranger. I'll start, seeing as I'm the one who's been most wronged in this equation. Okay, let's, uh, let's figure out what's going on here. Yeah, let's do this all proper court-like. Oh, very formal. <clears throat> Freddy the Scab, freelancer for sublight salvage and shipping. Same as my father before me. Junkyard Trixie, also a salvage freelancer. Though, I've been at it longer than Freddy. So, uh, just up the road and due east to here, there's a shipwreck lodged in the mountainside, right? I staked my claim on that wreck. Then I wandered in for a drink. An hour later, Trixie swaggers in bragging about her salvage. Ugh, the nerve of some people. Okay, but yeah, how do you make claims? What's the agreed procedure if there even is one? I climbed on top of it and called out in my loudest voice, Finders keepers! 
Okay, that, um, that doesn't sound legit. Uh, Lex, is that generally acknowledged as acceptable? I don't know about legal, but it's legit by sublight standards. Assuming anyone was around to hear it, which we can't know for sure. Someone must have heard me. They just ain't brave enough to step forward and admit it. Okay, so this is mildly ridiculous, but let's get Trixie's case. How did you mark your claim? When I found the shipwreck, there were no salvage mark. See, the whole area was teeming with bloodthirsty marauders. So I snuck around and added my tag. Clear as day so no drunken idiots could claim the salvage out from under me, Freddy. For the record, when I heard the marauders coming, I left. Trixie must have set her mark down after me. Okay, so... Hmm. Interesting. But you had your chance, Freddy. It's Trixie's turn to talk. S sorry I won't speak out of turn again. Anyway, that's my story, ma'am. Okay, so yes, what mark did you leave? I drew an X in the dirt with my toe. Um, okay, that that also sounds not legit to be perfectly honest. So yes, would that still be there? Wouldn't surprise me in the least, but that doesn't mean it ain't mine. In all my years, I've never heard a more contentious argument. I don't envy your shoulders for bearing the weight of responsibility. You've heard it from them both. So, who gets the salvage? Okay, so... Yeah, that's... That's interesting. Both of them did a form of claim that would leave no evidence behind whatsoever. So... Trixie did not disagree that Freddy got there first. And then again, Freddy could just be lying. If Trixie didn't disagree with that point and didn't counter it, when Freddy said, I got there first, Trixie didn't say, no, that's wrong. Therefore, Freddy presumably did get there first. Therefore, I guess it's his. I knew you'd see the righteousness of my claim. Pleasure doing business with you. That ain't fair. Lex, I want to file an appeal. You can waste time on paperwork, or you can go find some salvage to call your own. Your choice. Here's a six-pack on the house, plus your fee. Maybe now we'll finally get some peace around here for a change. Okay, I just got 2,000 bits for that. Beautiful. And, uh, yes indeed, uh, what happens now? I'll write to Lilia Hagen in the corporate office on Groundbreaker. She'll get some haulers to drag it away. It'll take a while. Nothing happens fast around these parts. But at least the salvage would get a good home. Alright, fair enough. Though, yes, um, if this happens often, like, do you think maybe there should be an official procedure for leaving a certain identifiable mark? A little too often, if you ask me. But that's the sublight way. Anything worth doing is worth fighting over. Well, apparently they're not going to change the procedure, so what can you do? Here we go. Back to Roscoe. I can give him some of the recordings. Well, I'll be damned. That's exactly what I'm looking for. But Spacer's Choice won't let me out of here until I deliver the whole set. Do you think you could get the rest? Uh, not just yet. I'm going to an art museum on another planet, but like, you know, sure, soon. And yeah, maybe we can get him to open up a little bit here about what was going on. Adrena time. I'm sure you know it. it. Was a drug, something to make folks work harder, work smarter. Had a lot of nasty side effects. Didn't seem so bad to me at the time, but then I hadn't met the test subjects yet. The whole thing was real hush-hush. A lot of worry about corporate spies, especially from anti Cleos. I probably shouldn't even be mentioning it to you, to be honest. Spacer's choice? They're really not fond of spies. Alright, not much that we didn't already know. Yep, nothing else there. So, alright, looks to me like we're heading on vacation back to Byzantium. Though on the way back to the landing pad, I can't help but notice, yeah, um, though you look really fancy, your armor is terrible. So, uh, might just check the vending machine, see if we can get you something that's, you know, better, but also matching, which is very important. Nope, from the shops and the vending machines, nothing good. So maybe I'll keep my eye out on, uh, Byzantium itself. Captain, transmission request from Ambrose Manor. Aha, heading over to Byzantium, apparently, we are being contacted, so... Uh, Am I on the right track, or maybe does Minnie not, you know, want me digging in the direction I'm digging in? 
Captain! Imagine my surprise when I saw the Unreliable leaving Gorgon with so much urgency and purpose. Tell me you found Mother's Journal. I'm positively dying for good news. Okay, I'm working on it, but somebody locked the place down. Need to find a way to, you know, unlock it. Sorry. Someone? You mean someone still has access to the facility? Oh, after all this time. Oh, who was it? Well, I'm going to be honest, it was almost certainly your mother, but uh, can't be 100% certain. Of course. They know you're on the case and they're scrambling to cover their tracks. Good thinking, Captain. Make sure you have eyes on the back of your head. I doubt we've seen the last of this human vexation. If I know Spacer's choice, getting past the lockdown will be more complicated than just hitting a big red button. You'll need authorization and layers of it. Ah, but yes indeed. Any chance you can, you know, help out because you knew the old staff? I seem to recall that Mother worked closely with Gorgon's R&D personnel, but not close enough to invite them over for dinner and cocktails, if you get my meaning. By now they'll have moved on with their lives. If only I could do the same. Alright, so this person something to do with uh, R&D, presumably. And... Uh... How much do you know about Adrena time? I knew Mother was involved with some important chemical trials, but I had no idea her pet project was Adrena time. Adrena time is a working man's stimulant, like a caffeinoid. Very popular at launch, though the marketing quieted down over time. Alright, sounds like you don't know much about it, so uh, yeah. Do you know about the Marauder thing? What? No! I mean, there's some very morbid wording in the fine print, but I had no idea Adrena Time could make marauders out of people. That's it. That must be it. Spacer's Choice is keeping their dirty little secret about Adrena Time off the record. We have to find Mother's Journal. If we don't, then Spacer's Choice gets away with murder. I only hope we aren't too late. Okay, but you want to salvage your mother's reputation, there's a good chance she was literally responsible. Then again, based on the audio log we've heard so far, maybe not. Adrena Time was touted as the working man's best friend. A drug that boosted productivity with no adverse effects. The promise of Adrena Time cannot be overstated. Exhaustion and fatigue were supposed to be obsolete. Workplace accidents would be things of the past. For whatever reason, the drug never lived up to that promise. Well, we do know it was something to do with, you know, dogs. It was supposed to be for dogs, not people. Okay, so we are going right up to the top of the city. Got it. Here we go. Can't remember if this building did anything uh, in the actual launch version of the game, but looks pretty, uh, pretty bland to me. All right, we've got ourselves an art gallery. Question is, am I really... Uh, Supposed to be in here? Is it open to the public or not? Well, there's a receptionist and she's not shooting me, so that's a good starting point. Welcome to the Musgrave family collection. Still a work in progress. I'll tell you what I've told all the other guards. Mind your boots. Our floors are not made for armor. If you're here for the annual Canid review, I'm afraid it's already over. Only thing going on behind those doors is good old-fashioned lawful behavior. This greeting constitutes your confidentiality agreement. You hereby agree not to disclose the location or existence of these events. Thank you for cooperating. Aha, she thinks I'm the help, I assume. So, uh, yeah, tell me more about the canids, because uh, canids might be central to this whole thing. Exactly. You do catch on fast. Now then, how can I help you? Never mind, that was probably just a joke. And, uh, yeah, I'm looking for Clarence. Mr. Mostly is indeed attending our event, although I am disappointed to discover he did not officially enter his canid Laplace into our competition. You should find Mr. Mostly just inside the prep room. Head inside and take the door to your left. All right, I guess I'll do that then. Though, uh, yeah, what's with the secrecy if you're just, you know, in the middle of a street, open door, all of that? We find that our clients enjoy the appearance of participating in illegal activities. Secrecy contributes to a feeling of indecency. 
The Musgrave family collection was intended to be a gallery of fine art. And here we are, using this place to practice semi-legal canid shows. Scandalous, isn't it? Oh my goodness, they're just enjoying playing at being criminals because it livens up their boring lives. That's, that's wonderful. So, yeah, when did it stop being an art gallery? That's privileged information. I really shouldn't tell you. But are you going to? Yes, you're going to. Marvellous. Let's go for the highest we've got here. I've already agreed to confidentiality, so you may as well. That's a fair point. All right. I'll tell you. But just keep this between us. The Musgraves own one of Earth's largest private collections of art and literature. They were going to have the entire collection shipped all the way to Halcyon. Unfortunately, that collection never arrived. We haven't heard anything from the delivery convoy, and there's some purely hypothetical concern that the collection might be, well... Ah. By any chance was it travelling with, you know, the ship I'm supposed to be ultimately tracking down with all the frozen people and all of that stuff? I was going to say indefinitely delayed by unforeseen and unknowable circumstances, but yes. Let's go with that. Anyway, that's as much as I can tell you. Will there be anything else? Any chance I can persuade you? Nope, nothing further. Fine, I'll go find Clarence. So, sniper rifle away. We're not murdering. So, yeah. An art gallery that's now running... Like, sort of, but not really illegal canid shows. Marvellous. And is this one of those shows uh, right now? Keep an eye on all of that stuff. And uh, what do we have in here? In fact, you know what? John, you can use the map. Oh, yeah. There's basically nothing here. Fine. It's a tiny, tiny area. In fact, I can't help but notice that in your uh, dog fighting arena, the dogs aren't actually fighting. They're just sort of... Uh, Growling at each other. Right, this really is semi-legal, got it? Yep, the dogs don't even attack or anything. Though there is... There is a golden statue. And a safe. Located around the back. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. This door's barred, though. If I was interested in, you know, some form of uh, trophy... How would I help myself to said trophy? That's just a lift. Why do I get the feeling that you're going to want me to steal this trophy somehow in return for your cooperation? Here we go. Prep room, which is uh, seemingly just an excuse to uh, drink some more, but that's maybe the whole thing, in fact. Hello there, Mr. Mosley. Hey, Maverick Johnston's newest star. I've got a question for you. Do you know the interesting thing about canid shows? That actually there's nothing going on involving canids, to be honest. They're just sort of uh, bumming around pretending to fight because you like pretending you're doing illegal dog fights, but you don't actually want your dogs to fight. Yes, trick question. There's literally nothing interesting going on. Oh, but there is. If one possesses an eye for statistics. Mathematically speaking, the interesting thing about canid shows is this. They're an exercise in futility. Winning is predetermined. Over time, the inevitable trend is that the race goes to the swift. Time and chance are just statistical outliers. In other words, if you put enough canids through enough trials, the one with the most optimal attributes generally wins. Exercise in futility. I mean, that sounds clever, but like, it doesn't mean anything because you have no way of verifying which dog actually has uh, the best abilities. Like, we're in a video game where I can literally look at my stats, but when you're considering a dog, you can't see its stats. So, uh, where are you going with this, Clarence? Oh, I've been told I should try to socialize more. Sharing an interesting fact is a proven method of endearing oneself to a stranger. I'm an actuary, you see. Well... Not entirely. The actuarial sciences are more of a passion than a profession. So I suppose that makes me mostly an actuary. That's a bit of a family joke. I'm Clarence Mostly. Okay, so yes indeed. Let's start off with an intelligence check. Yes, that's us. Mostly oak trees too. My grandfather invented them, you know. 
Well, no, he didn't invent mostly oaks, but he did purchase the naming rights back during the terraforming days. It's essentially the same thing. Always a good idea to, you know, build a bit of a rapport with this guy first. So, uh, do I want information, or do I want to... Maybe don't tell him he's the last. That's a bit, you know, sinister. Let's just ask for information. How do you know that name? Project Gorgon was supposed to be a secret. And I could intimidate him, or... I could say I'm working for Sophia. Maybe a bad idea. I mean, technically I haven't betrayed her yet, or I could intimidate him. He might respond badly. No, let's just say I'm working for Sophia, which I kind of am. Fair enough. I'm not about to cross the adjutant over a project I left behind years ago. It's true, I was involved with Project Gorgon, but that chapter of my life is long since closed. Listen... I don't know what you want with Gorgon or with me, but let me give you some free advice, hmm? Let the past go. Live in the moment. Enjoy the party. All I want is a key. That's literally it. So, yeah, we could intimidate Forty him. Or, yeah, somebody else is already blabbing. That might unnerve him a bit. Let me hazard a guess. You didn't listen then, and you're not about to listen now. And yeah, any chance you might know who'd be sending mysterious messages? Anyone else who'd still be, you know, alive? Someone with resources. Security countermeasures require a special override. Whoever locked down the facilities must have been watching you. Lifting the lockdown won't be easy. You'll need to send overrides from the chem lab and human inquiry. I don't have that level of clearance, but I know two people who do. The trouble is, I don't know you. I don't trust you. I washed my hands of Gorgon, and you're asking me to dirty them all over again. I'm going to need a good reason. Would you like a gold statue, by any flipping chance? Though, I could just threaten to murder him. No, that's mean. I'm not going to threaten to murder him. Because, uh, yeah, just because there is a check, it doesn't necessarily mean it's, you know, going to work out well. And, uh, yeah. I'm just trying to get to the bottom of what happened, my friend. I'm a good guy, aside from when I'm murdering people. I advise against trying to dig up what's been buried. Sooner or later, you're going to draw up something rotten. I want a favor from you. Do something for me, and I'll do something for you. That way, we don't have to rely on mutual trust. The grand prize trophy to the Canid Review. Called it. I want it in my hands. Get me that trophy, and I'll give you the remaining researchers. Names, locations, as much information as I have. All right, flipping done. Head into the main hall and take the elevator down into the maintenance tunnels. You'll find a service passage that leads up into the trophy room. The maintenance tunnel is the only way up into the trophy room. Some technician barred the door shut on our end. Ask Tilda Coatsworth about it, over by the podium. Okay, better speak to her in case that gives me, you know, another way round. Oh, and here's cute. So the eyeball we had in the first part, it's his eye. Sorry, I didn't put two and two together with the fact that I needed an eye and he's missing one. So would you like the eye back by any chance? Well, that's rather responsible of you. I'll put a good word in your permanent record. All right, I think I just traded an eye for some reputation. Lovely. Though, how did it, like, come out? I'd rather not get into the details. If Spacer's Choice ever asks you to test out their new model of monocle, just say no. That's a good joke. Aha, Tilda, let's start with you, just in case you can provide, you know, anything else useful. Aha, here we go. So, with Liar45, I can tell her I'm her personal bodyguard. I don't recall putting in a request for a personal honor guard. I imagine Musgrave put you up to this, as a way of showing deference to me. Whatever happened to that fellow? In any case, I can't hire you. I have a moral and ethical objection to charity. I'm gonna be honest, he's standing like 10 meters away from you. If you were just to lean back slightly, you could probably see him. But yes, let's talk about the review. Unfortunately, you're too late. The review ended a few days ago. We've submitted our results to the Judiciary Committee and await arbitration. In eight to ten short weeks, we'll have the name of a winner. 
Probably. That gives us eight to ten weeks to file a maintenance request. Our technician barred the vault door and then disappeared without a trace. Can you believe that? Yes, indeed. But what else can we... What else can we learn from you? What was he doing in there? The Musgrave Vault contracted a security consultant from UDL. They sent a technician to install a few security upgrades. Anti-dissident auto-mechanicals and the like. That technician barred the vault, but neglected to leave us with a way in from here. He wasn't seen leaving the security room, so I can't imagine where he's gone off to. UDL personnel are so irresponsible. No offense. Alright, at least we know what we're dealing with now. Robots. Any other way in, mind? The tunnels are guarded by auto-mechanical security. I don't look nearly boorish enough to resemble a UDL guard, so they'd probably shoot me on sight. Again, no offense. In any case, I'd rather not step foot in the tunnels. The tunnels are for disposing of unwanted refuse, and no place for a respectable Byzantine. Ah, but... But, 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 I think I've got the ID card for those guards from a satellite I was visiting at some point. So, I might be able to just sneak past. Though, any chance with Persuader 65, we can, you know, get someone else out of you. Your eagerness to serve your betters is commendable. Here's a key card. It should help you get around inside the tunnels. Now, was there anything else? I'd like to get back to mastering over the ceremonies, or people might question why I have this role at all. Honestly, probably didn't need that, because, you know, I've already got a high lockpick, but still nice to have. Alright, so, down into the tunnels we go. Honestly, this should be pretty easy. Parvati's got her electro hammer, I've got my electro sniper rifle. That should tear apart robots. Now, what do we actually have going on here? Because, uh, yeah... There is a secret way through here, possibly a shortcut that lets me bypass some robots. When I say bypass robots, yeah, I see you over there. Right, so the key card lets me just uh, do a bit of bypassing. Right over... Never mind, only a bit of bypassing. Any chance we can, yes, just get you back to where we should be. And then... How about one execution? That does the job very nicely. And you would be a corporate technician. Right, there's your key card. So we got that straight away. And open this door into the vault itself, though uh, some of the robots start to get a little bit on the, uh, the suspicious side. Uh, can I be safely in here, by the way? Because, you know, it's a vault, so I wouldn't mind having myself some, you know, free stuff while I'm just passing by. Oh, now, hello, sexy. Yes, I will be having a, a safe here. So, okay, is any of this any good? It's better than what we've already got, at least that stuff is. Okay, um, yeah, Felix, you can have this. It looks awful, but I'm sure you'll be fine. Oh, never mind. It's, like, barely any better, so we can stay looking good. Right, sneaky round back of the vault. Need to be... Never mind. That was, that was in the vault. I was in the right room already, then I just sort of walked out of it, because, uh, aha, trophy room left. Okay, so this is, this is a very small dungeon. Got it. And the, uh, the robot can't see through, uh, through windows. So, uh, right. There's a couple of ways to, like, you know, sneak round them and whatever. But, uh, okay. Very, very mini dungeon. Gotcha. Right. Get down. Get hidden. Anything in here worth taking? Ooh, that's... Wow, 150. Never mind there. Never flipping mind. Just grab a trophy. And then open up. And... Is everybody cool with me? Everybody seems to be cool with me. Good, 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 good. Right, Clarence, here you flipping go. Lifting the emergency lockdown requires overrides from the chem lab and human inquiry. Access to those facilities requires authorizations from two senior level researchers. Marion Blakesley, Jasper Lowe. They went into hiding after the project collapsed but I've managed to calculate their last known whereabouts within a reasonable margin of error. All right, so, yeah, show me the math in case I can improve it. I see you're familiar with my technique. I'd love to show you my numbers, but there aren't nearly enough napkins in this room. After the project shut down, I had to keep my mind occupied. 
I worked on my actuarial tables, calculated the average lifespan of a spacer's choice worker, that sort of thing. I realized some of the researchers had to be alive. I ran some numbers, did a little research, and concluded that the two most likely survivors are Marion Blakesley and Jasper Lowe. All right, so we've got our two people. Gotcha. It sounds like, yeah, despite what you were saying earlier, you're struggling to let go yourself. Nonsense. I just needed a good old-fashioned statistical problem to busy my mind. Keeps the faculties lubricated. He sounds a little unconvinced, but yeah, with a perception check, we can call him out on it. Let me stop you there. I don't accept anything for free. And if you're going to analyze me, I'd have to go through the trouble of hiring you on contract. Think what you will of my intentions. My calculations are sound. You'll find Marion Blakesley and Jasper Lowe at the enclosed locations. All right, so we've got ourselves some beautiful people who might have the keys we need. But let's learn about them before we challenge them, because yes, knowing stuff can be very useful for opening up new options. So, uh, Marion first. Dr. Marion Blakesley supervised the Human Inquiry and Auditing Facility. Live subjects, measuring tape and syringes, that sort of thing. Someone sabotaged the facility. Blakesley tended her resignation and vanished. I'm reasonably certain she's hiding in a maintenance bay on Groundbreaker. Yep, as you would have suspected, human resources in this universe pretty bloody dark. And uh, what makes you think sabotage? Well, with Spacer's Choice Equipment, who even knows? Dr. Blakesley tendered her resignation lawfully, but under suspicious circumstances. If you want to know more, you'd best ask her yourself. All right, fair enough. And uh, Jasper Lowe? Dr. Lowe described himself as a dazzling genius in his review. I disagreed. Of the 19 criteria that constitute the rubric of genius, Dr. Lowe only met 15. After the project shut down, corporate traded him off to anti-Clio in exchange for five lab coats. He's been transferred to an orbital lab around Olympus. Now, by any chance is that one of the labs I've already visited? Because I swear I've already been to a couple of orbital labs. So, yeah, were they good lab coats? Oh dear. How do I explain this without using too many syllables? Lab coats means scientists. It's a colloquial... It's slang. Let's get back on topic. You'll find Dr. Lowe in an orbital lab around Olympus. I deserve to be spoken down to on that occasion. I thought they meant real lab coats. And up to level 32 as well. Boom. Right, as I was saying, let's get heavy weapons up to 60 for that lovely weapon reload speed. Absolutely spectacular. And then just in case, let's get ourselves up to, yes, line intimidate of 50. So that is 60 adjusted. And then do I want to boost that or would I rather invest in heavy or long? Tell you what, I will take, yeah, I will take the long guns because uh, I enjoy the long guns. My rifle is uh, crazy good. Oh, and here's nice. Damage per floor. I have got several floors. That's going to be spectacular for me. Yep, there we go. I've got four of the bastards. So that is, uh, that's a huge increase. Someone has left a threatening message on your terminal, Captain. I was unable to trace its origin. Please make a note of it. Ooh, a good threatening message. I better go check that out. That sounds fun. So, they know my ship, and they know who it belongs to, and they know I'm not Alex Hawthorne, so they're planning to steal something dear from me in exchange. Interesting. All right, my hack is 50 at the moment, so uh, if I just put on the, uh, the right gear, just for a minute, I'm sure I've got something that gets me... Uh, more in the way of uh, hacking, right? No, John, because hack is a stealth skill, not a tack. Though you can see why I'd get confused. Irritatingly, if I got that message on a planet, I could 100%, you know, open it. But because technically I don't have my companions with me right now, I can't, which is odd. Here we go, around Olympus. So, uh, pharmaceutical station. May as well go and visit, I suppose. 
Now, question is, are we talking... Oh, I was about to say, you know, manned, abandoned, full of murder things. There's, there's definitely been a bit of murder here. Got it. So, when did this go wrong? What happened to these poor folks? It can't be the storm that did this. What storm? We're on a spaceship, Parvati. What? Oh, never mind. Okay. Um, something's gone. Something's gone a bit, uh, bit wrong here. Oh, never mind. Uh, there is a storm. Apparently they're in, like, super low orbit because they're still getting the storm from the gas giant. So, uh, occasionally there are long power outages sitting in the dark. So, uh, okay, that doesn't sound fun. No visitors for, like, a hundred days. Yeah, people were uh, starting to lose it, just the isolation alone. Yep, they started seeing the storm as a raging god, so they were definitely not doing so hot. So yeah, sounds like they were in low enough orbit that possibly with the advantage of like, you know, a little bubble or whatever, they could briefly step outside, but it was, you know, uh, very bad for them. So, okay, there was also mention of... Cool. There was mention of, yes, auto-mechanicals. So, uh, these guys brought supplies, but, you know... Going to take care of you. It'll be okay. Hi there. Are you okay? Are you a person? Are you alive? Just breathe, Kelly. Everything's going to be alright. And, uh, yes indeed, I'm going to use determination to buzz the button. Stop! Stop making that noise. They'll hear you. Who's out there? Um, hi, captain of a ship. Happy to rescue ya. Indebted to you for life. But how do I know I can believe you? You know what? Can't be bothered to try and persuade you. You just take your chances with the robots, I guess. I'll have to come out to assess it myself. Hold on. I'm opening the door. And? Hello there, receptionist Kelly. Oh, you were... That was your terminal. Are you sure you're okay? Because you were not sounding so good. Let me just catch my breath. I swear, my heart's trying to punch its way out of my chest. Law, I'm so lucky you came along. I know it sounds crazy, but a little while back, I'd been gearing myself up to take a long walk off a short turbine platform. Then the security mechanicals broke out into a massacre, and I realized I... Well, I really want to live. How can I help you help me get out of here? Okay, actually, yeah, I'm looking for somebody, but tell me more about the facility first. I'm not making anything. The research team, they were brewing up some improvement to anti-Cleo's anthracillin. Science stuff isn't really my area, though, so I don't know more than that. All right, potentially are we talking about, you know, robots being sent in to mop up intentionally an insurance fraud like we saw back in, uh, back in Edgewater? Yeah, is everybody dead? Pink slip protocol. And, uh, okay, yeah, intentional. Got it. How should I know? I just monitor the front desk. Well, except for the last couple of days when I've been hiding out in here. If you work at Oops, you're doing research and development. If we're not researching or developing fast enough, the protocol's there to put the fear in us. Somebody messed up. When one of us makes a mistake, the whole facility pays for it. I know it sounds harsh, but it was in our contracts and everything. Alright, so, yes, oops. Yep, Olympus Orbital Pharmaceutical Station. Auntie Cleo's naming and branding department's the best in Halcyon. That is pretty darn cute. Um, would you just like to, like, go back to my ship, by the way? Because you can, that's fine. Do I ever. Drop me off on the Groundbreaker and I'll be out of your hair in no time. Okay, bloody convenient. Soon as I'm done here, that's precisely where I'm going. Beautiful. Oh, thank you so much. I'll just hide in a crate or something. You won't even know I was there. Here, this is my official laboratory headgear. I won't be needing it anymore, so it's all yours. Alright, so off you pop. Uh, go wait in the ship. I need to, you know, look around a bit more. Oh, but hello, sexy. So, uh, headshot or weak spot damage, plus 25%. As opposed to, uh, yeah, perception plus one. Ooh, those are both really, really good. So, uh, yeah, because I've got perception three, I'm already getting 35% bonus. So, uh, if I put that on instead, 
Then what does that do? So, oh, it does look badass, though. It looks very badass. Then my perception is at 2. So I've lost 15%, but I've gained 25. So overall, I should be doing better. And it's got more armor, and I look more badass. So as long as I'm getting, yeah, those headshots and weak spots, I'll flip and take it. Marvelous. Right, need to find a key card, or I can just hack it, because screw you. Now we just start making our way through the facility. So yeah, I could just go straight into the room full of robots, or screw that nonsense. Let's, you know, sneak around the back, because I'm a badass. Right, this gets me around the back, as I was hoping for. Good, nice little bunch of stuff, and some music boxes I can sell. Which is, you know, never going to hurt. Drop straight down, just be ready for trouble. And yeah, now, now we're getting around... Uh, the side of this here room. Just be ready for trouble. Now I'm at, aha, now I'm at the side of the robot. So now I could sneak up the side of them if I wanted to. Not that I really like need to, to be honest, but I could do. Just wait for them to all be over there. My stealth's pretty good, so I can probably just get over to here. So yeah, we can just bypass the robots and uh, I see you over there, combat drones. You're right there, hidden behind that. You're over here, hidden by that. You know what? Let's be flipping badasses just for once. Bypass all of this if we can. Turn off the security. Boom. This thing's orbit is stable, right? Ada checked before we docked? No, I don't do that sort of checking, to be honest. And, ooh, lots of blood going on here. So, okay. Now we are upstairs. And, uh, yeah, I'm seeing, uh, I'm seeing some uh, corpses and whatnot. But, yeah, now... Now I need to go for weak spots and uh, things like that. So uh, little chunky bits in the center of robots. Them's the weak spots, if I recall correctly. Though uh, you guys are walking away from me, which is not not ideal, to be perfectly honest. Right, just a handful of you need to go down. And please turn and face me, because it's, yes, right there. So that there should be a good solid amount of damage. Don't. Cause trouble. Alright, just wait for him to show up. And uh, as soon as he turns to face... Boom. 4,000. Dead. Nice. Now that, that's getting the damage in. Now, admittedly, I'm not sure what the, um... Yeah, the actual flipping weak spot of those lads is. But we're easily taking them out. Okay. This new eyepiece, that's... That's the game changer. I'm enjoying that. Okay. Can we turn these guys off, by the way? Hack of 60. What do you mean I've not got hack of 60? I'm sure I've got hack of 60. Well, what do you know? I don't. Parvati is, yes, um, engineering, not hacking. Not sure if this is going to be important, but the power outages, someone was using them as an excuse to do some stealing. So, uh, yeah, sadly, can't turn off the, uh, the security. But kind of feel like, you know what, don't really need to. I think we're fine. Now, loop around the back over here. Got ourselves... This looks very much like a back room. A storm cannon, you say? Okay, by any chance, is this like the equivalent of uh, that ice cannon I found? Uh, but, you know, for electricity. Oh, I was hoping it might be. So yeah, now I've got myself a freezy gun, a burny gun, or a electro gun. Though, to be honest, I'm feeling like I'm doing, yeah, plenty of damage even without it. All right, well, we're down on the ground now. There's definitely more up there. Can I actually get to you, by the way? No, I've not got not got a good shot at you guys. Right, just got to find my way to uh, Mr. Law. And, okay, I see you there. And I see you are going to be right there. So how about we just take you out? All right, there we go. Going to be another one around the corner. You haven't woken up yet. So one shot right in the tanks. We'll finish you off. All right, now this. This is working. And uh, central lab. All right, there's another one over in that direction. But I think they're back in that starting area. Plenty more dead scientists. Yep, so they cleared this place out. They, uh, they meant it. And uh, hello over there, Mr. Combat Drone. So how about we just... Uh, I'm just going to put a bullet in the back of you. You go down. Now I see another drone over here. You go down too. Please don't, no, don't, don't charge. All right, fine, charge forward, I guess. And, ooh, you've got yourself 
things. Okay, you're like uh, the final boss, but smaller. You kind of, you know, were wibblying there for a second. You guys, not so much. And just need to get a shot in at... Yep, there we go. Right there. That'll take you guys out. Beautiful. Right, let that recharge. Get a couple of pop chops into that guy. Actually, you know what, Parvati? Just um, hit him with an electro hammer. Honestly, I feel like that's going to do the job, actually. And not quite dead, but now he's dead. Good, good. All right, now that there, that was some teamwork. Now, could go and find myself a key card, but screw that nonsense. I'm very good at opening doors, uh, so we can get right in here. So this might be a good little side way in. I'll be taking some shunts, thank you. Oh, yeah, so there's a good side way in if you don't want to fight. I say, good, good, good. All right, room's clear, so how do we get in here? Aha, just by hacking it, and Jasper ain't dead. That's, that's fascinating. Hi there. So, turns out you're not dead, my friend. Hello. Uh, uh, uh. Shush. No talking, concentrating. Damn it. I almost had it. The formula was in my mind and I almost had it. I was so close to a breakthrough, I could practically taste it. You really did pick the worst time to manifest. Ah, you don't think I'm real. Right, got it. You're not 100% all there anymore. Oh, hang on. I see what's happening. You're real. Ergo, not a hallucination. This is interesting. I have several questions for you. Let's start with the obvious. Who are you, and how are you even alive? Honestly, I just want your key card and I'll be on my way. But, uh, yeah, we know what happened here. Pink slip. And, uh, yes, you must be Jasper Lowe. Dr. Jasper Lowe? You see my uniform. Don't demote me like that. Right, that answers that. Next question. Do you come bearing fresh pharmaceuticals? I don't think this fellow's entirely in his right mind. Look, we all know you're here to interrogate me. If I'm going to go through this ordeal, I'm not doing it sober. Yep, give him something. Sure, absolutely. So, uh, charm or lie? No, let's, uh, let's actually give him something. Let's be nice. New friends mean new birthdays to keep track of. And I can't spare much room in my mind palace for frivolous trinkets of information. But in this case, I'll make an exception. Dr. Jasper Lowe at your service. Pleased to meet you, friend. He just used the term Mind Palace, so okay, we're going to be going for Intimidate if that's an option. How do I put this? This is not the first time I've lost a research team to corporate mismanagement. It's the second. Auntie had been threatening to instigate Pink Slip Protocol for months, though I honestly didn't think they'd have the stones to do it. I was on the verge of giving Auntie the results she wanted. Well, almost on the verge. Approaching the verge. The point is, I didn't think this would happen. Okay, so did you get pink slipped back on Gorgon by any chance? Before I was traded, I worked on Project Gorgon. I lost that team by attrition. Management turned the screw on my team. Forced me to fire one in ten researchers. The few of us that remained were overworked and exhausted. We didn't have much of a security detail. I don't know how the primals got loose, but my team didn't stand a chance. Aha. Sabotage, potentially. Got it. Human inquiry was supposed to be responsible for testing Adrena time. Under normal circumstances, the chem lab wouldn't have had to perform live tests. But creative incubation pressured my team with impossible deadlines. The prototypes we delivered to Dr. Blakesley at Human Inquiry were poor, because we were rushed. I had to begin experimenting on my own. I had to perform my own tests, so I used primals. They're not the best choice for test subjects, but I was working for Spacer's Choice. Alright, so, uh, yeah. You're the guy who's gonna give me access to Cam, the other woman, she's gonna get me access to human resources. Whoever reached greatness by coloring within the lines. And besides, my lines often move around on the page. My point is, 
I was doing my job. I was doing science. I will continue to do so until my mind or my body expires. Okay, definitely not playing with a full deck here. Ah, but here's fun. Persuade 100. Maybe we can get past, you know, the facade he's putting up here. I'm not lying. I'm carefully curating the truth for you. All right, listen. Auntie needs to be patient. I'll eventually get around to developing Anthracillin Plus. My priority right now is sky high. Once I perfect my formula, I'll be able to keep my mind functioning at peak performance without any pesky distractions. Like... Feelings. Ah, he was not bothering to do the work he was commissioned to do because he was working on drugs that he himself needed that would eliminate, you know, emotion. So, okay, yes, things things went bad here. By the way, need to get in your lab. No, you don't. There's nothing interesting in the chem lab. There's nothing interesting in Gorgon at all. Gorgon is a featureless rock dragged along by the gravitational current of a barren asteroid belt. The chem lab is a graveyard. You won't find anything there but the dead. Um, honestly, that might well be true, but I need to get in there to, you know, undo a lockdown to get into the building I actually need. Look, it's important. Just let me in, though. Uh, yeah, kind of notice you are also literally working in a graveyard. Why are you trying to warn me off if you don't care? I don't know why. Possibly I was just being polite. It doesn't matter. Clearly you're not about to take my advice. If you've set your heart on exploring my old labs, I won't try to dissuade you. Indulge me with a favor, and I'll give you the access you want. The electromechanical turbine is offline. Without any power, I can't possibly continue my work. Be a deer and reactivate it for me. That's all I ask. All right, fair enough. I'll do it. Right, his key card gets me out here. Time to see what this, you know, storm thing is, precisely. Oh, we're going, we're going up, so... Okay, yes! Low orbit, as it turns out. This is... Okay, this is cool. This is cool, I like this. So, flashes of light, coloured rain. Oh, this is... This is pretty badass. Right, turn that on. Towers need to be restored too. Fine, tower one, tower two. And probably a handful of robots, but we can handle them. We know they're no trouble. And here we go. How do we take you guys out? How about we just blind you and then put a few bullets in you? Yep, so these guys are... No, Felix, don't don't charge forward though. Bloody hell, Felix. Hold still. Right, that's... Oh, bloody hell. Right, they, they hit a bit harder than I was expecting. Okay, they hit a lot harder than I was expecting. Let's try that again. All right, take it easy. Stick around the outskirts. It should be all AO. Never mind, I'm being shot by something. Does anyone know what's like, what's shooting me right now? Oh, it's just a drone. It's just a basic combat drone. That's fine. Just slow down time. Pop it in the eye. No trouble. Everything's okay. Yeah, play it safe. Stay at the back. Sniper rifle with electricity working very nicely. But yes, now they're bringing little... Uh, Tiny mini baby final bosses out on the regular. Love it. So, 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 so. Just need to, uh, you know, pull a couple of switches. Life is good. So, okay. This DLC is made up of, like, you know, a load of tiny areas with little self-contained stories. That's fun. Right. Job done. Power. Turbine, etc. Beautiful. All right, my friend. Power restored. I would like a key card at this point. This recording should get you into the chem lab. I hope whatever you're after is worth the trauma. I wouldn't go back there if I was higher than the mercury levels in a can of salt tuna. Wait, take my gun while you're at it. If you end up dying on Gorgon, there's a non-zero chance I'll feel partially responsible. Neither of us want that. All right, got myself a gun, beautiful. And uh, yeah, would you like some Adrena time? Not a good idea for you to take it, but I feel like you're not exactly, you know, all there anyway. Oh, no. Not even I would risk such usage. That stuff will eventually steal everything from you that makes you who you are. I might want to lose my recollections and feelings, but never my intellect. If you'll excuse me, my experiments cry out for my attention. You know what? Fair enough. And even better, here we go. Any chance I could get a bit of, you know, help with the automated security over in the lab? 
I suppose you've got a point. Or something resembling a point. I'm emotionally addled right now, and I'm allowing my sentiments to get the better of me. Here, my personal security keycard. There's a hallway near the processing room. It leads to a security terminal. Use this keycard to unlock the hallway and disable security. Boom! Got a way to turn off the automated security. Love it! And one thing I do like, by the way, is yes, I could just head straight back to Gorgon now. I don't need to do those two missions, you know, at the same time. I could, if I wanted to, uh, go back to Cam, at this point pick up with uh, What's Her Face later, and... Is there a bunch of robots I just sort of missed? There might be some robots I just missed, I'm not sure. Oh, when I say missed, no, the ones I deliberately left behind got it. Speaking of which, just clearing them out on the way back out, level 33. And I'm having hack up to 60, thank you. Never mind, it was hack 65 I needed for that, not 60. I will hack that email, yet you have my flipping words. Captain, an unknown vessel is approaching our ship. Their intentions are currently indeterminate. Once I deduce their intentions, I will play one of two audio signals. A cheerful fanfare if they are friendly, alarms if they are hostile. Their intentions are no longer unknown. Ooh, this is interesting. I was just making my way back to Groundbreaker, but apparently we've been attacked. At precisely this moment, Captain? No. Within the next 60 to 90 seconds? Yes. The unknown vessel has deployed a boarding mechanism. They will attach themselves to our airlock and attempt boarding shortly. That sound indicates that a boarding mechanism has successfully attached to our airlock. Captain, I am pleased to inform you that we are currently in the process of being boarded. Well, this is interesting. The invading ship appears to be a decommissioned storage vessel. The crew are either pirates or freelancers. My opinion of their competence is low. Okay, so... I don't know who these people are, but you know what, let's just go kill them, it's fine. If you prefer to make an escape, I can disable their boarding mechanism. However, as long as that tracking device remains on board their ship, they will be able to find us again. Hmm, interesting. So, Ada, any chance of me and you could do something clever to sort this out? Yes, Captain. I am capable of deploying the Unreliable's articulated thrusters to dislodge their ship from our own. This is a temporary solution, however. A permanent solution may require your personal intervention. You know what, let's just go murder them in that case, sure. Understood, Captain. I will be deploying the Unreliable's lethal deterrence system. Please approach the airlock and enjoy the show. Well, this sounds fun. Uh, okay, so the airlock's right flipping here. Now initiated more welcome protocol. Did... did that do something? Did they... are they dead? Are they... Okay, so we've just got an enemy ship attached to us. So we've killed the boarding party. Now we just need to go and take out the ship so it can't follow us some more. So... Okay, that's a fun thing. I wasn't expecting that. Yep, there they are. Nice and flipping crispy right here. Don't recognise precisely who these lads are, but... Wasp. Some form of wasp symbol and... Uh, Plenty more of them need to be taken care of yet, so uh, you know what ladies and gentlemen, I would say uh, that is enough for now. We've made some excellent progress here. We've got one of the two key cards, or rather voice samples, uh, that we need. Uh, now we just need to uh, clear out these idiots, go and find what's a face to get the other one, and then we could wrap up exploring Gorgon. So uh, this is good stuff. I like the fact it sheds a whole bunch of little tiny mini dungeons. That's fun, I like that. Oh yeah, once again, this is going to be a very quick in and out, though this much red on the map, we might need to be uh, a little bit on the careful side, though. Uh, cockpit. Aha! We're going to be needing, uh, yeah, somebody's key card uh, before we can crack that open. So, that is what we will kick off with next time, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to try and bring you the rest of this, hopefully up to the, uh, the finale this next week, because... Uh, I've been enjoying this. This is some good damn stuff. So, more to come very, very soon indeed. But in the meantime, I'm Big John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been The Outer Worlds with Paralon Gorgon. Thank you very much, and goodbye. If we just hide the bodies, nobody needs to know about this. Yes! My stupid, stupid plan has worked! It turns out I'm a genius! The giant rat scorpion is not gone! Oh, hang on, there's, there's more yet, though. I'm still being very shocked. Guys, where's the NCR? Nobody needs to know.